Configure the Data Engine Web API with ASP.NET MVC OWAP. Create a new project using the ASP.NET Web Application Template. On the Select a Template screen, select MVC and check Web API. This one will enable Web API in the same project. Click OK. Once the project is created, we need to add references for the OLAP control. The assembly is available in the product root folder on the machine as well as on the Group City NuGet. Right click on References, select Manage NuGet Packages from the context menu. In the NuGet Package Manager, select the package source as Group City. Click on the Browse tab. Search for OLAP. Select the c1.web.mvc.olet package from the search results and click Install. Once the package is installed, you will find MVC and OLAP assemblies added to the references. In the NuGet Package Manager, search for Data Engine. Select the c1.web.api.dataengine package from the search results and click Install. Once the package is installed, you will find Data Engine, C1 Web API, and C1 Web API Data Engine references added to the project. Now we need to add licensing for Component 1 controls to the project. Right-click the project and select Add Text File. Name the file licenses.licf. Add licensing entries for MVC, OLAP, and Web API Data Engine to this file. Build the project. Next, open the web.config file under Views. We need to add namespaces for Component 1 controls. This will enable IntelliSense for the controls. Add namespaces for C1 MVC, C1 MVC Fluent, C1 MVC OLAP, and C1 MVC OLAP Fluent. We need to register the resources for the MVC controls. Register the CSS styles. Then, register the JavaScript resources for MVC and OLAP controls. The project is now configured to create and use MVC and Data Engine. Let's add a product data model to this project. Create a new class named Product Data under the Models folder. This class has countrywide product sales information. Also, there is a Get Data function to generate random data. Save and close this file. Data Engine aggregates data after importing it from the data source. So, we need to generate the data and import it to Data Engine in this example. Open the startup.cs file. In the configuration method, the use Data Engine providers register the Data Engine. The add Data Engine method lets us import data from a database or an I enumerable. The first parameter lets us specify a name for the table. The second parameter takes a function that returns data. In this case, we will use the getData function of the product data class to generate a million records. When the app starts, a million records would be generated and imported to Data Engine. Let's configure the view now. Open the index.cshtml file from the view's home folder. Clear the pre-existing content. We will use a bootstrap grid system for the layout of the page. Next, declare a pivot panel control and set its ID as panel. Bind it to the Data Engine Web API server. Since the Data Engine Web API exists in the same app, we can specify the URL as API forward slash data engine forward slash complex 10, where API forward slash data engine is the data engine URL and complex 10 is the name of the table we specified in the startup class. 
Add Country to the Row Fields collection. Add Product to the Column Fields collection. And add Sales to the Values Fields collection. Next, define a pivot grid with the item source ID set to the pivot panel. Save and run the app. When the app launches, a million records are first created by the product data class get data function. This is then imported into the data engine. When the page loads, the pivot panel has the model fields and the row, column, values fields have the items that we defined. A progress indicator shows the progress as the data engine aggregates and sends data to the OLAP control. Change the aggregation from sum to average using field settings. Notice how quickly aggregation is performed and displayed in OLAP. Data Engine is aggregating a million records in less than a second on the server. Add downloads to the values collection. The data is quickly aggregated and displayed in the pivot grid. Field settings allow to change the aggregation methods at the client side and send a query to Data Engine to complete the request. Further drill down of data is on demand to keep the app highly performant. Data Engine Web API uses a column-oriented data model where it keeps queried data in memory mapped files. If we look at the folders of the app, we find that a data folder is created at runtime that holds files on data. Further queries to the same set of data takes a fraction of a second due to this. The path of this directory can be customized. Refer to the samples and documentation for more information.